Jesus celebrate. Oh, 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 oh. celebrate. Jesus celebrate. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Celebrate. Jesus celebrate. Hallelujah, we're starting service. Celebrate. Jesus celebrate. For he is risen. He is. I think all you want to help me. He is risen. For he lives forevermore. He Maybe he can step up into the, um, amen, for his prison. Amen. Let's just pray. Amen. Lord, bless him right now. Amen. We're so excited. Amen. Pray that we just got to help him walk over that. Um, we got to help him walk. No, I'm going to help him get into the church. Amen. The, the foyer. Hallelujah. Then he can walk over there. Hallelujah, bless you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, God. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. God is so good. Amen. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Praise the Lord, God. Praise the Lord, God.
for prayer. And I lift my voice to Have your way, Father. 
Bless the leader in this house, Lord God, into the world, Lord God. Let, Lord God, there be water, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, in this house, oh Lord God. Let there be understanding, Lord God, in this house, oh Lord God. Bless, touch, Lord God. I'll be sure to give you all glory, Lord God. I'll be sure to give you all honor, Lord God. Because it all belongs to you, oh Lord God. Without you, Lord God, we are absolutely nothing, Lord God. So have your divine way. Move in this place, Lord God. Any way you want to move, Lord God. Any way we can be free ruled and free reigned because it all, it all is yours, Lord God. It belongs to you and you alone, Lord God. So Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we bless your wonderful name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we come first of all asking you to forgive us, God, in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Anything we might have settled on even thought that was not pleasing unto you, God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. But Father, we thank you for the 36 years, God, in the name of Jesus. Because you have been doing it out, God. We thank you for the God. Jesus, Jesus, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And everything she did, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And what she left, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for Dr. Pastor Sarah Nice, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray, keep her before you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that she would be all what you wanted to be, God, in the name of Jesus, God, and Father, that this ministry would be what you wanted to be, God, in the name of Jesus, God, everything that's not like you, God, we cancel it out now, God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you just have your way in the service today, God, in the name of Jesus, we come against every distraction, God, in the name of Jesus, and for any hidden agendas, God, we come against the God in the name of Jesus,
heaven. We pray and thank God for the woman of God, Dr. George Redick. But before her was mother, right. district missionary mother, Sarah Mildred Lock. Let's say amen for her as well. Amen. 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 They just passed the baton. They just passed the baton. Yes. But amen. We are celebrating 36 years. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is a time of celebration. And for us, it's no little thing. It is a big thing. 36 years. And look at this. That's three generations of women. Mother Mildred, Sarah Mildred Knox, Dr. Joyce Marie Dixon, and our own pastor, Dr. Sarah Mildred Knox. Hallelujah, Junior. <laughs> have your seats. I'm so glad that you're here. Amen. 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 Our scripture reading Thank you, God. will be Dr. Shelley Miller. Amen. 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 Just put your hands together as she comes forward. Amen. Deliverance to those who will believe in the name of the only begotten 
of the Father, that is Jesus Christ. The word is full of grace and truth, according to St. John 1 and 14. Our mission has been to provide today's young men and women with self-esteem and respect for authority and leadership. Prayer is the foundation with Christ Jesus being the chief cornerstone. We at Agape Love Ministries are lifting a standard and are endeavoring to be a light in the community. Hallelujah. Hence, Agape has been on radio since its inception. Before WAWA, WAWA, she was also in WLO, I believe that's in Jackson, uh, Jackson, Wisconsin, and also WGLB, and now 1340, Joy 1340, amen. Amen. So every Wednesday at 1245, you're looking for virtual, you can listen to Agape Love. Now it's called Refresh Me, amen. <laughs> That's Dr. Nixon's voice. Amen. But anyhow, and, and also on social media broadcast via Facebook and YouTube. And so since Dr. Dixon's time within the ministry, we have given out turkey dinners every year and given through a and also given a, a, a ministry through a clothing bank, visited the sick, visited those in jail, held revival. She's held seminars. Y'all know she did the last one with the healing, the health. A self care seminar, amen, and founded that, and also a Godly Bible College. She's also founded the Godly Bible College since the church inception. And therefore, Dr. Dixon has graduated up to 2,000 graduates. To God be glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! By the time she was promoted to glory, amen. And Dr. Dixon also has left here, she left her as a published author, a songwriter, recording artist. But lastly, Dr. Dixon's end goal was, and is still today, is the concern for the need of a total need for those seeking help and yes, want to yes, take an, yes. an, an active part in their daily lives. Hallelujah. And this gives, a, a, this gives God assurance that someone cares. As Dr. Dixon always says, people don't care how much you know, what degree you got, where you went to school, but as long as you show that you care and they know that you care. Amen. And Agape, and that's, that was her model till she died. Agape's love ministry is reaching our, our utilization of our services by those in contact with this ministry. And it's offering its heart and helping hand and pray that this proposal will provoke rather the utilization of our services by those in contact with this ministry. Amen. This is the first and most important reason. Why and when Pastor Dixon, or Dr. George Dixon, spoke in 1988 under the unction of the Holy Spirit, amen, I will not just pastor, but I will teach a, a school of ministry, amen. So she did it for nine years until the Lord promoted her school of ministry to the now Agape Love Bible College. Hallelujah to God in the Pope. Hallelujah. And the Bible School of Theology, where she has a plethora of classes that she teaches. We've graduated, and we have graduations also at Mount Mary, at Cardinal Stretch, where we have graciously, they have graciously, rather, opened the door for us for 10 years. To God be the glory. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we pray, amen. Please pray for her daughter, that's me, Dr. Sarah. Yeah. Amen. That God will continue to hold up the ministry. Hallelujah. Yeah. Put no confidence, I hear the Lord saying, put no confidence in the arm of flesh. Hallelujah. Well, we know that for 35 years, Dr. Dixon, amen, has held a ministry, and now Dr. Sarah serves as the pastor and president of the Bible College and Church. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to sit over there on a uh, hand. Amen. 2830 was the address. Right next to the road. Amen. We were there. And it has also a gold dome. Amen. We've been painted in gold over there. Amen. Oh, they tore it down. But to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Then from there, we left and went over there. We went to some other places. Then we landed over there on Kenwood. And I brought a treat I want to share with you concerning the history. Amen. Today, we pray. God, I got to get this out of my purse. 
so that I would not forget. You know, you got to put stuff by the book door or in your purse, so you won't forget. <laughs> Tanya got that package because he was in my purse. But these are some of the things that Dr. Dixon did uh, in the early years. We were on Kenwood, one of the addresses I was telling you about. 2319 East Kenwood. I'm a pack rat. I'll tell you that was everything. <laughs> Dr. Dixon did for 35 years. And this is the newsletter. I'll pass it around let y'all see it. And then the guy below Bible College newsletter, and we had that going on for those early years. It was 10 years, I believe, and Minister Le 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 Lenore Shaw, amen, was inspirational, amen, and helping us put that together and some other saints. So we just thank God for the life and legacy of yours truly, Dr. Hallelujah, just Dixon. Hallelujah. And it's a hard and task to follow up. But we thank God for her. Truly, God did use her. Y'all just continue to pray my strength in the Lord, the God that give us how to hold on and be the daughter He's calling for. Hallelujah! And He's asking today. You thank God our spirit had made His arrival, and Dr. Pastor Dr. Dick Daniels, my cousin, before he comes forth. And then we got a lot. You come on up, Pastor, take your seat. And then we have a lot of guests that we want to have words. Amen. And I'm gonna start off with Amen, Minister Willis. Amen. Her also our cousin. Come here, Miss Willis. Amen. This mama's cousin. Amen. Come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know, grandma, mother, and I say, Amen. We have a little something to say about them both. Amen. Let's go bless you. Amen. Everybody, please. Amen. 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 Okay. Well, I'll share a little history about my cousin. Uh, back in the days, uh, I used to be my cousin's bodyguard in Madison. And uh, I'm going to call her, the girl could sing. I asked her to sing, and she had such a warm personality. People just gravitated to her. And I loved her so much, I used to leave Milwaukee, drive to Madison. We were my cousin, you know, and I remember we was in uh, her apartment, and we was talking about how much we been through as a family, because when our families first came here, we kind of lived together, you know, uh, back then, you know, folks from the South, they came together, brought sugar, brought this, brought that, but they were like family, and it's like, today when I think about my cousin, um, it's kind of hard because I still struggle that she's not here, you know. And uh, one of the main things about her, though, the first thing is that uh, we said, no matter what, I mean, hear me, y'all. Said, no matter what, because if you get mad at me, if I get mad at you, remember I love you. So if I will speak to you for a month or so, trust me, <laughs> I love you. And I thought about that, and you know what? And it came to pass, right? But we had such a great time together, me and my cousin. Yes. It's like, God, let's see. This is the funny part. I live on 40th and Locust, so I was invited to a party. And I said, this is right around the corner. I go to the party. Guess who's at the party? <laughs> cousin George. <laughs> they right down the street from me. I didn't know that for years. You know, so it's good to show that, that connection that we have. So I know only got three minutes, but one thing I want y'all all to know is that Pastor was, no, no, was she a pastor, but she was a mentor. You know what I'm talking about? She, she was a mentor. Okay. And when I look at it, in terms of my life, maybe yours too, if it wasn't for her, where would we be? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Back in those days, wow. back when Mama was, Dr. Dixon at the time was jazz singer. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and Joyce Jackson back in those days. And then we yeah. thank God, hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. So I thank God, hallelujah. God has brought us a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. Amen. Yeah. 
So at this time, I got another cousin here. I got all my cousins with me today, y'all. Amen. 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 Minister, amen. Wallace, amen. Amen. Come on up here. Come on, let's give God a hand praise. Come on, God has done anything for you. It don't sound like God has done anything for you, but God has done anything for you. Can you give God some praise up in here? You can love the Lord on this afternoon. Can you give God some praise? Can you do me a favor? Can you just testify to somebody and tell them how good God has been to you real quick? Just give them a quick testimony. Sometimes somebody needs to know that. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you wouldn't be here today. Some of y'all still too few. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you wouldn't be here today. And I don't know about you, but I came to praise and uplift the name of Jesus. I really got to go and move on because I really feel a dance coming on. Because I think about August 22nd. In the year 2000, there was four individuals uh, that was just shooting. And on that day, I was 14 years old, and I got shot. And when the police officers came to the hospital, they said they found 60 shells outside that night. And I want to tell you, if it had not been for God, I got to move on because I'm going to dance coming on. I said that was in the year 2000. You ever know that I'm yet still here? If there anybody got that testimony that I know all I've been through, I got news for the devil. I'm yet still here. And it's because of the grace of God. And that's what I think about when I think about this wonderful pastor and even my cousin that's now pastoring now. That yet you can have that testimony that all I've been through, that I'm yet still standing and yet still surviving. I didn't know we was family until my little cousin died and his funeral was this year. And they came to the funeral and my auntie uh, let me know that that was her relatives and so this is a small world. But I thanks be to God because I did get to meet the woman of God. I didn't know we was family then. But I thank God I had the opportunity and the privilege of getting the chance to know her. I want to tell you something, pastoring is not easy. Amen. And we ought to get behind the woman of God, the man of God. They need our prayers. We even acknowledge our speaker on today. We need our prayers because pastoring is not easy. Can I be honest with you, especially when they have to deal with black folks like us. Because you know we're stubborn. We don't want to hear nothing. We don't want to give nothing. We don't want to say nothing. But we'll go everywhere else and scream to the top of our lungs. But they the people that labor with us, that pray for us, and ask God to touch us when we're doing what we're supposed to do. If it wasn't for the man or the woman of God, we wouldn't, I'm not the preacher, I'm going to let him go here, but we wouldn't be here today. You know, they used to sing that song, Somebody Pray For Me, that kept me on their mind. You know you was out there doing what you're supposed to do, but somebody was praying for you while you was drinking, smoking, fornicating, somebody prayed for you, and yet you are here. Because somebody prayed for you. So we thank God in 36 years is a long time and yet still be standing. So we are praying for you. We ask that God to strengthen you. Ask that God to keep you as he did your mother. We know God going to keep you too. God bless you and thank you. Kathy and Pastor Larry, God just made it in. Amen. Well, praise God. We jump in. Go for it now, praise God. We want to catch your breath. Okay, give me a minute. All right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Honey, man, cousin, child. I want to pass you the mic. I got a microphone over there. Amen. I know you. Amen. So what? Lock, lock. Very well. Amen. Be that your cousin, dog. Would you have some words to say? Praise God, praise God. Amen. Also soldier in arms. Amen. In the military. Amen. Yep. Praise God. Yeah, is that button pushed? Okay, push me on the front. I'm sorry, girl. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
You got to come. Amen. Give an honor. Amen. God bless you. Bless you, class. Bless you, class. Thank you for giving me a minute to reflect on Joyce. Yes. There's one thing that uh, Joyce did for me. Yes. And this was a while when you were with her. Oh, right. Yes, yes. That uh, was a job I had out the mm -hmm. VA little thing. They were putting pressure on me yeah. to bring different mm -hmm. activities, people, events sure mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. the special emphasis groups, black history, oh, yeah. African American, I mean mm -hmm. Asian Americans, <laughs> Hispanic American Americans and that the, mm -hmm. They would have that pressure to see what I could do, yeah. bringing the awareness to the population yeah. at the VA. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I was sweating <laughs> at one point about who can I get. And I talked to Joyce <laughs> about my problem. And she said, I struggle over time and, oh, that, uh, yes, and then she sang oh, she sang mm -hmm. that song mm -hmm. that like filled that whole auditorium mm -hmm. yeah. with joy and gladness mm -hmm. and I could only give her 300 bucks but it Thank was you. worth yeah. a million to me yes. 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 to have her come mm -hmm. and do that event for me. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Amen, amen. All right. Praise the Lord. We do remember that. Amen. I believe we were at the War Museum. Amen. That day, amen, downtown at the War Museum. And it was, or was it at the VA? It was something like that. Amen. It was such a beautiful, amen, day, amen, that we spent. Amen. With, amen. Praise God. I think we had some brigadiers in the house. Amen. It was a big deal. And we thank God. How oh, God used. Amen. I don't know what Franklin Corporate, uh, or General, what type of title or cousin tells. Amen. But thank God. Amen. Because it was a big deal. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we thank God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Give God the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Take out the pudding and showcase. Amen. What God has planted here. And it got paid through a different, amen, God bless you, minister. I see you in the back, amen. But let's say amen, actually, Christ is in the house, amen. Uh, I understand, okay, okay. Yeah, but we're going to take time to move on. I, I don't know, uh, amen. Minister, are y'all ready? If y'all want to go here or y'all want to wait? Okay, go ahead and get dressed. Amen, amen, that's right. Man, do you want to have words before they come? Okay, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Amen. Let's just say amen. 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 We can have a solo. Amen. 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 Amen.
He can be good to him too. I want the lost to know that he can be good to you. Hey, yeah, yeah. He's been good. Jesus been so good. He been so good. Come on, church. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody say glory. Come on, let God have his way. Come on, let him have his way. Let him have his way. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to open up for God to go in. Hallelujah. If you're dealing with any bone or any, anything that's painting you, just God, I give it to you. Come on, I give it to you. Even my time is God. I give it to you because my worship it belongs to you. Come on, see, my worship belongs to you, God. Where would I be without him? Where would I 
Lee, a got associate and bachelor and doctor's degree yeah. from up under this great woman of God. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. She did the work. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. I thank God. Amen. Yeah. I thank God for just being in her presence. Amen. Yeah. I thank God for having the opportunity to have her to give me some encouraging words. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then I remember when her daughter was having the school. Amen. Praise the Lord. And my son, he went to her school. And I just, he loved her so much. He will always come home and tell me something good about her. <laughs> amen. So I thank God for that. Amen. And he went when her school closed down. He told me, he said, Mom, can I go back to her school? I said, I said well, now we're going to see what we're going to do. We got to find out what's going on. Amen. But nevertheless, I thank God for them. Amen. I thank God for just being in your Friends, did God just get you off? Did we cross you all past? It doesn't matter. Amen. Who passed cross who? Yeah. As long as we got together. Amen. Amen. And as long as we, we stayed together. Amen. Amen. And it hurt my heart so, 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 so when she passed. Right, right, right. Oh, Amen. Lord Jesus. But God knows. So I'm here to tell you all, I thank God that I had the opportunity to meet her. I had the opportunity to be as well as me. And I thank God and I know you all feel the same way, amen. I guess you wouldn't be here. So I just thank God. I thank God uh, for Sister pa uh, Pastor Sellers, amen. amen. Such a beautiful voice, amen. I thank God for so much she just don't realize how much, amen. Praise the Lord. But nevertheless, I thank God and I give him all the honor and give him all the glory for keeping me with a sound mind. Keeping me in good health and keeping me knowing who he is. So y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Well, we brought the girls, and they want to do a dance for our young ladies and our young ladies at our church. They have a praise team, and their praise team is called the Jesus Boys and Girls. Are they going to say, no, it's the Jesus Girls and Boys. Either way, all right, it suits me good. Amen. Praise the Lord. So they want to do uh, a couple dances for you all at this time. So I get to... I present to some and introduce to others, none other than Action for Christ Jesus Girls.
generation change from old habits, change from generational curses. Can you just lift your voice to him in this moment? And say,
game. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They hands on. Yeah. 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 when she first started pastoring. Then yeah. God passed the mantle from her, my grandmother, to my mother, Dr. Joyce Green Dixon. Yeah. Hallelujah. She passed for 35 years. Unrelentless. Unstopping. Never stopping. Hallelujah. Even when she was in that pack, that wheelchair, Pastor Nathaniel. Yeah. Amen. Pastor Dr. Dixon, she never stopped this. She passed the day. She kept on.
that's given today. Bless that seed that's been given. Bless those that have mind to give, God. Bless those that have desire to give. Hallelujah, give your post, shot. And restore back even a hundredfold. Do the wrong and decree, declare over them. You said in the word, I will make you even a thousand times many more as you are. And the seed that you sow, greater shall you be even a thousand times more according to the seed that you sow. In Jesus' name, and it is so. Malachi 3 and 8, God, you said you would rebuke the devour for our name's sake. Say it is so. I decree in Luke 6, 38, God, you have blessed us, oh God, some 30, some 60, and 100 fold. Press down, shake together, and run over, so man, get back into your bosom. In Jesus' name, it is so. Amen. Amen. Oh, somebody else got to see it. Amen. Praise God, right. Minister Shelley. Amen, Dr. Shelley. We thank the Lord for the service. Let's give God a hand praise. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing beautiful.
Turn to somebody and say, I'm not the victim. I'm not the victim. But I am the victor. Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. I want you to know I'm not left here at the mercy of the devil. Huh? Can I get a witness? Amen. Jesus made a statement. Amen. Amen. To him that overcometh. Amen. He said, if you overcome, amen. Amen. You are going to be the victor every time. Amen. The same Jesus made a statement. He said this. He said, I the pie until I come. Somebody shout hallelujah. The word occupation or occupy, it means to take over a territory that belongs to somebody else. Somebody shout hallelujah. Turn to somebody and say, this world is not my home. Uh, but I came to occupy. Amen. God wants us to have a militant spirit. He wants us to have a spirit. Amen. To take over the world. Amen. The disciples, the apostles. Amen. They turned the world upside down. Huh? Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. God here. Amen. And I will grant to sit it with me in my throne. Uh -huh. He said, in my throne. Yeah. I said, God, why you say in? Why couldn't you just say on? Right. He said, in. Yeah. Because the Bible, amen, wherever you see in Christ, everything that you see in Christ, if you do a reference, is what, you be what belongs to you right. in Christ. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The scripture was talking about Jesus on his throne. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So he's going to grant everything to me that's on the throne or in Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad I'm in Christ today. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't know about you, amen, but I'm glad that everything in Christ belongs to me. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout praise Jesus. I want you to know it's yours, amen. You're not trying to get it, amen. You should be claiming it and declaring that it belongs to you. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. And watch this, and even as I also overcame, Jesus said, I overcame the world. Amen. Somebody shall go with the God. Amen. He said, because I overcame, amen, I want you to know I got a place for you, amen, in heaven. Somebody shall go with the God. Somebody shall hallelujah. Amen. What people don't realize in the throne, amen, or on the throne, amen, there's certain things that's on the throne. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. How many know kings, only kings and queens sat on the throne? Somebody shout hallelujah. So you got to know who you are. Amen. You ought to know you a king. Amen. You ought to know you are a queen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. When you get to, amen, a place of rest, amen, that looks like a throne right there, don't it? Don't this look like a throne? Amen. When you sit on the throne, that don't mean the faith will bring you to a place of rest. Don't mean you don't do anything. It means you delegate authority.
I got to go there. Amen. I got to. You know what? Uh, 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 Dr. Knox, too many people are too familiar with their leaders. Huh? I don't believe you should get that familiar with your with your leaders, or your leaders should get so familiar with you. After y'all get through eating, when he get up or she get up to preach, he done told so many nasty jokes, you don't even want to listen to it. Too familiar. Are you you done went you the line? Now we shouldn't be saying all that. We shouldn't be talking about all that. Huh? Because when God chooses you to, amen, to lead the people, he gives you a standard. Huh? Oh, forget these preachers that talk about do as I say, not as I do. No, baby, you got to, uh -uh, you got to live what you preach. Huh? Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout praise Jesus. And then watch this, he said, and the scripture, amen, said, and sat down with me, amen, with my father in his throne. Now here Jesus said, I'm going to give you, amen, the opportunity to sit down with me in my throne. And just like my father set me down in his throne. Huh? Uh -huh. Right. It, 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 you, you see how that anointing transfer? Yes. Huh? Yes. You see how the, the, the anointing, the mantle that was on, amen, God, he put it on his son. Yes. Then his son put it on, amen, his children. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Time that somebody said this ain't no kinfolk thing. This thing was passed, the anointing was passed down because it was inherited. Oh, it was inherited, Dr. Knox. It was inherited from Dr. Dixon to Dr. Knox. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. God is looking and trying to find people. Amen. He still wants protocol. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. God still, amen, respects protocol. Yes. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to, glory to God. Amen. Somebody said, well, preacher, you know, we, 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 we have been to so many churches and and you know, so many people that got up, and so I don't have no more respect for them. Well, guess what? Every preacher, every pastor is not the same. It's just like you said, all men are dogs. Have you been with all men? So you really can't say all men are dogs. You can say the men you've been with was a dog. Huh? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So. So we have to make sure, amen, we understand God is interested. God says, son, let my people know I'm interested in the anointing that's on the office. So make sure they clear. Make sure they understand that they must respect the anointing that's on the office. Well, when you get that from preacher, the Bible said, David said, he could have killed Saul. And he said, I will not touch God's anointing and do his prophet no harm. He said, I'm not going to do it. What was some We missed it, Pastor. He, he, he was on the throne still. You need to understand, even though he was messed up, he got twisted, he went to get advice from a witch. He still was on the throne. And the God that we serve respects the offices. God said it ain't about the man. Ain't about the woman. It's about the office that they stand in. Because when that person leaves out, I, I want that officer to still be reverent. Oh, look at him. Huh? Yeah, that pastor might was jacked up. But the office wasn't jacked up. Huh? 
Somebody say hallelujah. David, he said, look, I ain't going to touch him. I ain't going to touch him. And, and in that, he taught his men something. Yes. Oh, yes, he, did. Yes, he, did. he taught them loyalty. Yes, not to be cut folks. Because yes. had he did it, they would have did it to him. Yes. Oh, we missed that part. Why did he really say, touch not my anointing? Touch not my anointing. You hear people that say that often. They say, touch not my anointing. Do my probably no time. All right. You, you see what I'm saying? Hey, you got to understand why he said it. He said it because he understood, he understood authority. He understood order. He understood protocol. And he understood he was next to be in line on the throne. And if he taught them to be cut though, they was the same man was gonna turn on him and cut his stone. He knew it. See, there's some things, amen. Even though you're going through some things, amen. Don't don't miss the principle. Huh? Don't miss the principle of amen. What's going on? Amen. Don't miss the principle of what God is trying to teach you. Amen. The Bible says, obey them that have rule over you. Amen. Do that just mean I disobey the cops that say, and I don't obey the other ones. No, the Bible says, obey them. It didn't just say church folk. It says, wherever you got somebody over you, you ought to obey them. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And then go to Hebrews, the uh, second chapter, 12. Go to Hebrews 12 and 2. Right. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 2. Yes. And two. Somebody shout glory to, glory to God. Amen. I was on my way here and it seemed like the devil tried to knock me off. My... But I told the devil he's a liar. Amen. Somebody shout glory to, God. glory to God. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. The, the Bible here, amen, is talking about looking unto Jesus. Amen. It didn't say look unto Paul or Peter. Amen. It said look unto Jesus. Amen. Who's the author? Amen. The author is the one that wrote the book. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Is the one that wrote the book. Yeah. Amen. I heard somebody tell me one time, Dr. Knox, yeah. really recently, very recently, you ain't nobody in my book. I said, Well, the only book that really matters is the book. Yeah. And that's the Bible. Yeah. Huh? That's the only book. Yeah. And, and guess what? The only wet place I want my name written down is in the Lamb's yeah. Book of Life. Jesus was telling his disciples, don't you get excited because demons obey you and you have authority over demons. He said, get excited because your name has been written in the Lamb's book of life. He said, that ought to make you excited. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Here. Amen. He is the author and the finisher. Yeah. So everything begins with him uh -huh. and everything ends with him. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Overcoming faith will bring you to a place of rest. Do you not know if he is the author and the finisher? Uh -huh. Amen. You don't have to worry about nothing. All right, that's true. Huh? Yeah. He's Alpha and Omega. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The finisher of our faith. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that this is so important when you're dealing with people. Amen. When you go to different churches, don't destroy people's faith. Yes. All right, God. That's right. Come on. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Because what really saves is Jesus. That's right. Saving faith yes. is in Jesus. Yes. Huh? Amen. We just preaching the Bible. We ain't just pre we ain't preaching no specific uh denominational stuff. We just preaching the Bible. Jesus is the altar. Amen. I'm standing on Jesus. The face of our faith. Amen. Anybody, anybody here is in Jesus? Amen. You ought to show some signs. Will you? If you in Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And then it says, who for the joy that was set before him. Amen. He endured the cross. Amen. For the joy that was set before him. He looked at it as a prize. Huh? He looked for it. He looked at it as a prize. He said he endured. He went through the cross. Amen. People don't want to go through. But Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. Sometimes the way to go up is to go down. Uh, I've been finding out, Dr. Knox, amen, before God gets you to honor, he allows people to humiliate you. See, we think this thing is all about getting the mic and people honoring you. I want you to know if you're going to preach the gospel, some folks are going to try to humiliate you. Amen. But it's all right. Amen. They did it to Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Then the Bible says despising the shame. Uh, look at here. He despised the humiliation. Huh? He he ignored the humiliation. Yeah, y'all beat me, stripped me naked, beat me bloody, hung me on the cross, and, and for everybody to see. Yeah, y'all put me out there bad. That's what Jesus said. He said, "Look, they hung him out there bad." Huh? Amen. But the prize, Amen. If the devil knew what he was doing, he would have never crucified. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you. Because Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men unto me. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Even Jesus took the devil in his craftiness. Jesus took the devil in his manipulation. Okay. Amen. Some folk think they real smart. Okay. They just being manipulative. Amen. Sometimes the devil will think he got one on you. Dr. Nolan of being manipulative and put you in situations for folk to front you off. But it's all right. I'll be humble. I've been in churches. The pastor throw it down the bottom and start cussing. I sit right there. I said, okay, God. All right, you trying to teach me something. Okay. I, I went, I remember when, let, let me just give you my testimony. I've been in churches where, amen, people got up and threw off on me and I humbled myself. I didn't go off. I didn't throw off. Hey, man, I got up and preached the word. Because God told me to preach the word. He didn't tell me to defend myself. He didn't tell me to run down every lie everybody done told on me. That's not what he told me to do. He said preach the word in season and out of season. Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. He despised the shame. He ignored it. Sometimes you got to ignore it. The best thing you can do, 
amen, to the devil is they ignore him. He get mad when you ignore him and laugh at him. <laughs> when you laugh at the devil, he get irritated. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to God. See, you got to use the weapons of your warfare. Amen. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. The apostle Paul said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Somebody shout hallelujah.
the babe should desire the sincere milk of the word. Yes. It, it has nothing to do with teaching them some below or beneath a man, a man who they are. It has something to do with getting your, amen, people ready to go out, amen, and do what God called them to do. Yes. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Sheep beget sheep. Yes. Amen. The pastor yes. get the sheep ready. The sheep should be going out there getting sheep. Yes. Huh? Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Rooted and grounded. Amen. Rooted and settled. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, be not removed away from the hope of the gospel. Don't be moved away because there are many winds of doctrine out there. Huh? Amen. Don't you know God wants us, amen, to deal with and to stand in strong doctrine? Amen. There's a lot of wind of doctrine. People being flowed and being blowed and being thrown off. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Then it says, which ye have heard. And then it says, which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Yes. Watch this. Wherefore I, Paul, am made a minister. Uh -huh. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Do we still believe that God called men and women? Amen. Huh? I do. Amen. Huh? Yes. You know what we do? Yes. Amen. I believe this. I believe you ought to get the calling first from God, then you build on that. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes. I believe you ought to get the witness from God in your spirit that God called you. Should nobody be telling you you called. You should know God called you yourself. But let me tell you something, baby. You won't have to go through hell. High water, sink and swim. And if you don't have the confidence, you're not going to make it. If you don't have, amen, the, the witness in your spirit that God called you, you're not going to make it. Huh? You have to know God called you. Because if you don't know, people will make you what they want you to be. Okay. Won't they do it? Pastor, they'll make you what they want you to be. And some of them don't have a healthy, amen, mind frame. They need to get rid of their stinking thinking. And, and they can't look at you in a good light because they messed up. Some folks so messed up, they can't get nothing positive to be. Jealousy will crowd your thoughts. The Bible says jealousy is cruel as the grave. People will say some low down stuff about you because they just jealous. You just jealous. Huh? It ain't because it was true. See, some folk don't like people because of what God has done for them. But when God do something for you, amen, we cheer, we get happy, we throw high five. But then if God don't do nothing for you and your foe, you mad. You look crazy. You look like you got rocks in your jaw. Huh? <laughs> Somebody shout glory to God. I know we ain't got no haters up in here, though. I know. Not here. Not here. Amen. Come on. Go to Numbers with me. Amen. Go to Numbers. Amen. Numbers 13 and 1. <laughs> you know what? If Dr. Dixon was here... You know what she was saying? That's the thing to work that word. Work that word. Work that word. Huh? That's what she was saying. She said, work that word. I said, yes, ma'am. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, numbers 13 and 1. Amen. Numbers 13 and 1. 13th chapter and the first verse, number 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Watch this, send thy men, that they may search out the land of Canaan, which I have sworn unto the children of Israel, of every tribe their fathers. Shall ye send a man 
everyone ruler among them. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Here we see Moses, amen, trying to get the people to the place that's promised. He was trying to get the people to the place of Canaan. Yes. Amen. amen. Watch this. He, amen, was trying to get the people to the place of rest. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. He, amen, told, amen, Joshua and Caleb. He said, look, go get 12 men out of the 12 tribes of Israel. I need you to get these 12 men and I need them to spy out the land. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. And just don't get lay members. Get leaders. Yes. Get rulers of the tribe. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout glory to, glory to God. Let me filter it down. I can't go line by line everywhere. Amen. But here, amen, Caleb and Joshua have got, amen, nine more people. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. And they went to the land which God said, I gave it to you. Yeah, uh -huh. Seemed like to me, if God told me he gave me something, mm -hmm. I can sit in my place of rest. Yeah. Huh? Amen. If God told me right. he did something for me, right. and God said, it's yours already. I right. gave it to you. Uh -huh. All I got to do is sit down and wait for it. Uh -huh. Huh? Amen. Now, now wait don't mean you don't do nothing. Wait means you saw the committee get the committee together for they can do what they need to do. Uh -huh. Huh? Delegate. Amen. Delegate. Huh? Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. So here, amen, and Moses was telling Caleb and Joshua, this is what I need you to do. I need you to get these 12 men that represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And then watch this. Amen. Uh, numbers go to 30. The verse, verse 30. In Numbers 13. All right. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it for we are well able to overcome it. Woo! Woo! Look at here. Help that word. Look at here. <laughs> we are well able to overcome it. Yeah. Overcome what? What he gave you. Yeah. The promise of Canaan. Yes. Amen. Amen. The promise. Oh, I can't go there yet. <laughs> but the promise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. The promise of God is yea and amen. amen. If God told me it's mine, it's mine. It's mine. I don't care if you don't want me to have it. It's mine. It's mine. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. All I do now, amen, I told somebody, I said, uh, uh, Dr. Knox, they, I was doing some cases for uh, Senator Ball and Governor Evans and, you know, they, they sent just little old me and God. They sent so many people after me. And you know what? All I did was mm -hmm. God brought me to a place of rest. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah. Where is that place? That place is mm -hmm. where he gives you peace mm -hmm. that can pass us all mm -hmm. understanding. Mm -hmm. Don't mean you ain't going through nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. What it means, there's no fear. Yeah. There's no anxiety. Yeah, exactly. huh? There's no worry. Yeah. There's no doubt. When you in that place, amen, all hell could be going on around you. But do you not know the safest place they say in, in a tornado is in the eye of the tornado, right in the middle? Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. When you're going through dive temptations and trials, the Bible didn't say you wouldn't go through nothing. It didn't say because they had to fight other people before they got the king. Huh? Amen. amen. The armies of the Lord, amen, they have to fight other people. But watch this. This is the thing where people miss it. Come on, go to 31. Okay. But the men that went up 
with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. See what I'm saying? First mistake. You should have kept saying what God said. Huh? You should have never bagged off, amen, what God said. You cannot, amen, when God tell you, amen, to do something, don't let nobody come telling down in unbelief. They come telling down. Now here them other 12 spies came in telling down in unbelief. Huh? See? But there was the 12, there was the same men that went up to Caleb. We, we, uh, 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 Caleb, they said we be able. We be able. We well able to overcome. Yeah. Them are the same men. Now how did they get a, uh, Joshua and Caleb got a good report, they got a bad report. Right. But they saw the same thing. Come on now. How did that happen? Huh? Why did that happen? Amen. They saw the same thing. They was at the same place. But somebody missed it. Amen. In faith. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Look at here. He told them, he said, he said, look. He said, now go back to the 31st verse. It says, but the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. Now how do you look at yourself? See, when God gives you a promise, you got to know you're able and you got the strength to take over and do what you need to do. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. You got to know you're strong. God told Joshua, he said, only be thy strong. And of a good courage. He didn't say be strong only in this situation. He said, only be thy strong and of a good courage. That's right, that's right. I don't want you to be nothing else. I don't want you to doubt. I don't want you. You know, sometimes we flip flop in our in our belief. It depends on the situation. You know, we, we, we flip flop. You know how people they be. They sometimes they sometimes they believe and sometimes they don't believe. But if you believe God, you're going to stand on what the promises of God say. And it don't matter what nobody else says. Amen. Amen. Don't, never let, don't never get folk with you that don't agree with you. Amen. Make sure you got people around you in your inner circle. Amen. That agree with what you're saying. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Come on, go to 32 with me real quick. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it, it is a land that eateth up its inhabitants. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Woo! He said, the nine spies came back and gave an evil report. Amen. Only two spies came back and gave a good report. Amen. The other nine came back and telling them, look, these folk are giants. What can we do? Look at us. But see, that's where you messed up at. You should have looked at God. at the one that gave you the promise. Yes, yes. Amen. Not looking at, amen, what the people look like. Yes. Amen. Somebody saw glory to God. Glory to God. They eat it up, the inhabitants. The inhabitants are the residents. Mm -hmm. yeah. People meet them. They eat cannibal. People cannibal. Yeah, yeah. They got scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got scared. <laughs> He folk is some cannibal. Right, right. The inhabitants. That's right, that's right. I know the residents. When you inhabit something, you you the resident, right? <laughs> 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 hey, 
Amen. They eat it up there in the heavens. You know, God is good all the time. Amen. And all the people that were, that we saw in it are men of great stature. They were giants. They were bigger than them. They looked at that instead of looking at, amen, what the word of God said, what God told them. Amen. To stick with the promise. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to, glory to God. Amen. Come on, go to Hebrews 4. 4 and 1. Amen. I'm moving right along. Yeah, Hebrews 4 and 1. Amen. They got scared and fearful. Long story short, only two tribes entered into Canaan. That's right. The other nine tribes wandered around for 40 years and died in the wilderness. Because of their leaders did not have the vision and did not have the word and should have kept the word that was already given. The word was God gave it. He gave it. <laughs> that was the word. That came from God. So you are to inherit. Yes. Dr. Knox, right, right. you inherited uh -huh. your mother's mm -hmm. amen, vision, yes. school, yes. church. Yes. Amen. amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Somebody shout glory to, glory to God. Amen. Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us not therefore fear like they did. Amen. Amen. Let a promise being left us unentered into his rest. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, don't let us fear unless a promise being left of us entering into his rest. Uh -huh. Let me stop right there. His rest. I got to deal with that. Because look, that's my, that's the title of my message. Overcoming faith will bring you to a place of rest. Yes. If you fear, you will leave the promise of God undone for your life. And for the other people that's connected with you. The other nine tribes perished with the nine spies, leaders that they picked. Huh? They perished because of fear. And they did not get the promise of rest. Because do you not know when you, now watch this, they still had to fight to get in, but it was a rest. <laughs> it was his rest. See, see, you got to understand, he didn't say your rest. It said his rest. See, it's something about God's rest. That's different from man's rest. Uh -huh. Huh? Yes. Rest is not the lack of work being lazy. Uh -huh. Rest is at the place of being confident in the position you're in. Right. And you good in your own skin. Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Huh? Amen. Do it how God called you to do it, Dr. Amen. Knox. Amen. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Do it how God told you to do it. Because that's your place of rest. Yeah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. You're going to rest in him because God has already placed the anointing. We, 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 when we grew up, we were talking about, we talked about the anointing being transferred. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. The anointing being transferred from one person to the other. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now watch this, watch this. Go back. We still at that first verse. Amen. If any of you should come, come short of it. He said, if any of you should come short of it, you can come short of God's promises for your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. You cannot fulfill the purpose of God for your life. These nine tribes 
Do you not know Canaan was no 40 years away for them to get to Canaan? That's all them doubters and unbelievers had to get killed off. Huh? If God sent you in a place, go with the vision. Don't try to buck the vision. Because mm. it's a blessing. Amen. In, amen, obedience. Somebody shout hallelujah. For, watch this, for unto us was the gospel preached. As well as unto them. Watch this, I'm going to read on. Amen. But the gospel preached did not profit them, not being mixed, watch this, with faith in them that heard it. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Who was he talking about? The children of Israel. Yes. The nine tribes uh -huh. that didn't go in. Right. He said the gospel was preached to them. Mm -hmm. But the gospel did not profit them not being mixed All right. with faith. Yeah. Somebody said, add to your faith. Add to your faith. Huh? Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to God. So the word preach, if you just hearing the word and not being a doer of the word, it's not going to help you. Yeah. Huh? Somebody yeah. shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. It said it was preached to us. It was preached to them. But they missed it because they didn't act on what they believe. Faith is acting on what you believe yeah. in the word of God. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. It, it, it says here, not being mixed with faith, the latter verse, and them that heard it. Do you not know people can sit up in the church and not get what the church offered? People can go to hell in the church. Because if you don't receive Jesus as your Savior by faith, you can go to hell. You see what I'm saying? You can end up in hell. Because Jesus saves. Somebody shout hallelujah. The third, the third verse. For we which have believed enter into rest. See? We that believe who? The, the two tribes that was Caleb and Joshua tribes. They entered into rest. Somebody shout hallelujah. As said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if thou shalt enter into my rest, although the works were done from the foundation of the world. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. God had already said, y'all got the land. Amen. Hallelujah. He already said, amen, what you, if you name it, and claim it. It's yours. Amen. Huh? Amen. Huh? He already said it's yours. Amen. He said it was done before the foundation of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. I just wanted to deal, amen, with this because the fourth verse it says, for his sake, in a certain place of seventh day on this wise, and God did rest on the seventh day from all of his works. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. God did rest. Do that mean he didn't do nothing? No, he was in a position that everything was done. <laughs> he didn't have to do nothing else. Because it was done before the foundation. See, the devil thought he was getting over God, on God, when he had, you know, him trying to kill Jesus. But he really wasn't because God said Jesus was the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. The plan of redemption was already in place. It was already in effect. Huh? Somebody shout hallelujah. Some, some preacher told me one time, he said, man, you just can tell people that you just can't tell people they, they can believe and receive. If they confess with their mouth, believe in their heart, that God has raised them from the dead, they shall be saved. He said, you just can't tell people that. Why not? The work was done. If Jesus didn't 
do it, who of us could finish the work? He said it is finished. So who am I to come along and try to undo what God has already done? Huh? It, 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 ain't, it ain't I'm just giving them. The Bible said he meant for it to be that simple. Because Jesus really did all the work. He did all the work. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. And then it says the fifth verse. And in this place again, if ye shall enter into my rest. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. He said, you shall enter into, amen, my rest. Amen. I don't want y'all, amen, to be worried. God told me to tell you, stop worrying. Yeah. Amen. And what do I mean? What, what, what do you mean, stop worrying? He said, you worry too much, you wear yourself out. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. And all you really got to do is sit in a place overcoming faith will bring you to a place of rest. Why am I tripping when he gave me overcoming faith? When he put me in a position, it don't mean the place of rest that you don't do nothing. It means a place that you're in a position you have authority to speak stuff in existence. Somebody shout hallelujah. Do you have to fight? Do you have to struggle? No, the Bible says fight the good fight of faith. Somebody shout hallelujah. He said fight the good fight of faith. Now watch this John. I got to hurry up. John 1 and uh, 5 and 4. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout glory to, glory to God. He said, he whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. Yes. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are born of God, you're born of the word. Yes. Huh? Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. You already overcame. So all you got to do really, really, yes. all we're doing is just walking it out. We're already winners. Huh? We already winners. All we doing is walking out our victory. We allow the devil to make us feel like we don't have no authority. But the devil is a liar. God gave his touch of authority. He gave them authority. To what? Overcome the world. Overcome what? Lust of the flesh. Lust of the eyes. Pride of life. Gave us over. He has given us the faith to overcome those things. Somebody shout hallelujah. What else did he give us to overcome? He told us to overcome spiritual wickedness in high places. Principalities. Rulers of darkness. What you fighting them for? Uh -huh. All you got to do is speak to them and bind them. He said bind them. He didn't say rebuke them. Uh -huh. See, you got to use God's strategy. Amen. You got to do it God's way. Amen. They didn't do it God's way. They wondered, them children in the nine tribes wandering around for 40 years because they didn't do it God's way. Amen. They didn't hear the word. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. What I'm looking like, Dr. Knox, I'm about ready to close them up. All right. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> the victory. Amen. Overcome. <laughs> you know what? I first, when I first met Dr. Dixon, I had to learn because I was real, I was real, you know, long-winded. <laughs> yeah, I was thorough. I was thorough. Amen. You can't get it all in one. I, I actually got to this message. Amen. God gave it to me for her. Amen. Because I, I feel like this. 
And man, I'm preaching for her, even though she ain't here, I'm still preaching for her. This what she would want to preach. Faith. Overcome. Your faith will uh, uh, bring you to a place of rest. Don't you know if she wouldn't want her daughters dealing with hardship and she wants y'all to make it light for her daughter. Make it light for every pastor. Huh? Amen. It should be all right if you make it light for every pastor. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now watch this. I, I, I'm getting ready to go, y'all. I'm getting ready to go. Amen. <laughs> Somebody shout glory to God. Amen. But here, the Bible says, and I'm going to read this scripture, one last scripture. Pastor, is this okay? One last scripture. Okay. This is Okay. <laughs> it's time to go. Dr. Doc said it's time to go. Pastor said one more. One more. She said one more. I says, if thou peace be worthy, let thy peace come unto it. Yes. Amen. It said if your peace, see your peace could bring, amen, when you step in a place, the peace of God should rest in that place. And then if it don't, but if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. That's a guide to overcoming faith, bringing you to a place of rest. Faith should bring you to a place of peace. You should have peace in your spirit. Do you not know when you go into a place and somebody's saying something that's not according to the word, it's a check in your spirit. Have that ever happened to you? Yeah. You said, wait a minute, I didn't invite. Mary had a little lamb. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. That's a fable. Yeah. Huh? That ain't in the Bible. Right. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Come on, lift your hands right now. Amen. We can really go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God, amen, for this opportunity. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Come on, just lift those hands right now. Hallelujah. I've been in the storm too long, long too long. Oh, please give me just a little more time to pray. Cause I've been in the storm. I've been in a storm too long.
angel, and then we thank God for asking the Christ, amen, for, amen, for in the word was with us today, and we thank God for the blessing I made. Our God for amen. So at this time, I want to and a prayer, a benediction prayer, and we're going to be released to celebrate, amen. Is that all right? Let's all stand, amen. If all hearts and minds are God, we're growing little by little by leaps and bounds, Father God. I pray that you just encourage our hearts, oh God. Let us not, lest we forget, hallelujah, our founder, hallelujah, pastor, hallelujah, Dr. Jer Jesus, Dr. George Reed Dixon, your servant, hallelujah, through Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that you used her, God. I remember the sweat of her brow as we were walking on the streets, gathering them souls, hallelujah, doing the witnessing, getting a beat. God, we're doing it again, God. Hallelujah, 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 when it's sunny out, when it's warm out, and then we go outside, Lord God, in the ocean, and now the weather is changing to get cool, but I pray that you be with us, oh God, and we continue to hit the beat, God, and we continue to win souls to Christ, Father God. I pray that you bring in souls into the ministry, Lord God, before we said everlasting too late for those that are lost. God, that, that they won't be lost. And Lord, we continue to pray that the vision of Dr. George Prediction shall continue. God, to get a lot of emotion, and not just the God beloved ministries, but the God beloved Bible College. That it shall continue and grow, Father God. Oh, that I'm as you use your daughter. Father God, bless your men and women that are with us today. Bless every church on the sound of your voice. God, not just a God, but look on action for grace, God. Look on for him in the word, God ministry. Look on every church that's represented today. Look on every man, every woman, every boy and girl. Touch right now. Bless right now. Father God, and it all angels on every assignment. Angels out of the on assignment, out of the whole shot. Binding all incidents and accidents on earth and bound in heaven. Father, thank you for losing every blessing. Those that have sown, those that have given, bless them, God. Oh, right, even make them a thousand times greater than what they are. According to Deuteronomy 1 and 11, we give you all the praises, all the glory, God. We go on to higher heights and deeper depths in Christ. In your son Jesus' name. And we take this year in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for watching and fellowshipping with us. God bless you. Praise God. Shalom.